We'll just. <laughs> Welcome to the weasel, welcome to the weasel, whip out your dicks and shove them in your ass. Welcome to the weasel with Mike and Ann Jonah. Oh wow, dude. Hey man, welcome hey. back again. Nice to see you, dude. Good to see you, brother. I'm tired. Yeah? Tell me about your tiredness. Uh, I'm tired, dude. Um, dude, it's fucking hot here. Which is which is rare. It's like a hundred degrees in Denver, which doesn't really happen like that. Global warming's really kicking in, dude. Yeah. So um, that you know that makes you tired, dude. I did eat a whole pizza at a brewery before this, and then drove back in a truck whose AC doesn't work very good. Yeah, true that. Yeah. And then got more high. <laughs> yeah. 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 Feeling a little bit uh, tuckered out there, are you? I'm a bit, dude. I'm I'm a bit tuckered, but I, I have some coffee, man. I'm I'm excited to to rally with you and do this podcast here today. Well then, uh, cheers to that, my friend. Cheers, cheers bro. Coffee. And and uh, you, you said you're feeling a bit seedy this morning. Me, yeah, I'm feeling a little bit seedy. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I didn't even drink that much, and I was oh. good last night. I didn't mix my drinks. I just had beer the same type of beer the whole time Mm -hmm. Um, had a few of them but uh i didn't drink like i don't know it's not like i drink like a whole case of beer by any means yeah but Uh, you had like a you were telling me a bit earlier sounds like you had kind of like a white trash time oh it definitely uh, got like some semi-trailer park out there yeah yeah and uh dude that that takes energy man that that takes energy man trust me well, dude, we um, we ended up walking back to uh, Steve's, and I was in thongs. It, it, it was cold oh, last night, too, fuck. so I was in shorts and thongs, and uh, we walked back to Steve's. But um, the crazy thing is, like, the part of the reason it took so long is because we're like, oh, Steve, Steve, Steve or Tyler, I can't remember, they're like, oh, there's a shortcut through this field. It just cuts straight through to the other side of the residential area. Okay, right. Sick. So we just started going. Hold on, give me the give me the, the the level of drunk for you and your associates. Um, like a like a scale of one to ten. Yeah, yeah. Probably like a coherent seven, I'd say. Between all of you. Well, I mean, like, yeah, I think we're all varying levels. So to speak, but like I think we average to a, a seven, same, the same amount of time. But like I think we averaged about a seven, but like a coherent seven. You know, like when you're drunk, yeah. sometimes you're just like seven is like on lights and shit, dude. But sometimes yeah. seven is like fucking. We we got a goal. But if you gonna... average seven, I'm guessing there was moments in where you know we sometimes a few of you, maybe all of you, were in a less coherent seven. Yeah, yeah, dribbling into eight, I think. Ah, uh, yeah, dribbling into eight. Dude. Anyway, so, so you're in a, you're cutting across a field, which always yeah. goes well, and yeah, there's field. never a fence in the way. No, no, actually, there were no fences. Surprisingly, damn. Um, now they didn't need fences because they had a creek. Uh, uh, <laughs> so you had to cross had, a creek at yes. at what time in the eve? So this was at. Uh, I think we left the pub at one. We started nice. walking back, one o'clock in the morning. Pretty chilly, I think. Roughly, I don't know. It was a coherent seven, but not a timekeeping seven. You know what I mean? That's right, like, right, yeah, yeah, like yeah. Were, uh, five, hold on, six. were you having a good time, or was oh, it yeah. like, yeah, no, or was no, it on the verge of like, hey, this might have been a mistake? Well, no, like, so the reason we left the pub because we're like, if we stay here any longer, shit's gonna get too weird, and we don't want that to happen. You know, when you sure. come, you leave a you leave a party at the right time to avoid fights or um, sure. drunken dramas, whatever it is, or whatever they like. So we're like, we're gonna go on a little adventure ourselves, which we did, and so we're hiking through this paddock or field. And then it becomes muddy, dude, because it's been raining, whatever. I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, man. So, not too and you're, much turn And you're around. still in, in flip-flops. Oh, yeah, no, still wearing the flip-flops, yeah. Still wearing my thongs. Then we're hiking, and then the grass gets really tall. And then I see, because I'm in the oh, back, and I see one of them go, whoop, 
down. I'm like, oh, fuck, dude. Oh, like, you know, like, like an animal in the brush, dude? And yeah, you're in bro. the middle of a field in Australia? <laughs> yeah, dude. Dude, there's dude, no what? telling what fucking megalodon was about to pop out at you. Dude, some kind of ancient fucking water, water dinosaur just <laughs> lurking through. Or maybe some anacondas. I don't fucking know. Dude, who could? Yeah. And honestly, man, like, at a certain point, we were walking through this grass. So we, like... I had to cross the creek, and it was too wide to not get your feet wet. <laughs> so sure. I just fucking trouts through with my thongs. Yeah. And then when you stepped up onto the bank, you didn't like you didn't like rise up above the grass because the grass was so tall. It was like up to your chest. So the grass. The grass was like chest height, and so we're trouncing oh, through this tall fuck. ass grass behind this like industrial building that's like lifted up off the ground, and you can like see underneath it, dude. And it was like a scene Whoa. from a fucking one of those horror movies where you're being hunted by some like I don't know, like a think of a B horror movie where a lion gets genetically modified at a fucking zoo and then escapes uh-huh. and then it hunts the people around the area. That's what it kind of you're just like. describing Jurassic Park, I think. Well, yeah, that too, yeah. I mean, you're right, yeah. It was, yeah. There you go. You were in Jurassic, Jurassic Park, Park last night. Yeah. It, and that was not that long ago for you. I think you texted me like five hours ago. and Like, hey, yeah. I'm going to be a little late. Hey, I'm going to run a little bit behind. Uh, <laughs> love you. Was that while you were in the field? You were like, I got to let Jonah know. No, nah, dude, this is well <laughs> after all that. It was finally when I, when I finally got home. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, yeah, we... um. We finally climbed out of the grass. We walked on, found a park, dude, and we swung in the swing set for a little bit. That was fun. Um, and then we walked to Steve's, had a beer. Curly picked me up. I come home, brushed my teeth, and I looked at the time. I'm like, oh, fuck, dude, it's like 2.45. It's almost 3 o'clock. I better text Joan that I'm going to be a little bit late. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> yeah, no, and, uh, no, that's cool. Dude. I, I, I was looking for sunglasses, man. I, I want to match your energy today, but um, you want me to take them off, bro? No, no, no. I want, I want to put some on. Is what I want to happen. But Where's your sun needs, dude. Where's they're you, upstairs. Bro? I don't feel like gonna go. Maybe I'll grab them when I when I refresh a coffee or something. No, that's fair. Okay, that's but yeah, one. dude. Um, as we're recording this. Mm. Uh, right, right as I was leaving the brewery, old Trump doggy dog, yeah, got clipped, dude. It, 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 that, that's that's my understanding, at least from watching muted TV and uh, some loose internet articles that have appeared. Is uh, yeah, I think he got clipped, dude, by a bullet. Shot. Someone tried to shoot him. Yeah, yeah, which and, is and- which, like, which like we were talking, not surprising. Like I'm frankly flabbergasted it took this long with just like right. how how he's pissed off like the ins- like the fringe of the insane people, yeah. you know? Yeah, and well, and the entire institution of politics is also like been pissed off or aggravated in some way by his even just attempting to be president early yeah, on. Yeah, but like I, I don't know, dude. I, like I think just, I think with all the, the with all the Biden stuff. Lately, I think they're like, "Oh fuck, this guy's definitely gonna win." And do yeah. you think it's like, uh, like the deep state is like, "Oh well, we gotta kill this guy so that we can keep keep old Joey B." I don't think the deep state gives a fuck, dude. Yeah, Trump's been president. So he who didn't is do it, anything dude? about the deep state? Who is it you think that that's, that's taking pop shots? I, I I don't think it's fucking. I don't think it's real. I think I think you want to know what I think, dude? I think he really they really shot at him. I, maybe they really shot at him. I don't fucking know. I wasn't there, dude. But you know yeah. what? Super convenient, isn't it? Super what? convenient to be in this fucking to be shot at. Going legal. No, think about it. All right, you were president, and the entire time you were president, they tried to drum up these things about the fucking Russian collusion, all stuff. Yeah, yeah, Which yeah. All been totally made up. Yeah. Totally made up, right? All right. And then January six happens after he loses the election. Yeah. Yeah. It turns out a lot of that might have been kind of fucked up and made up there as was, well. Or there was some government action FBI, involved. Yeah. A little bit, you know, there's a percentage, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so now everybody's really riled up. So his supporters, people backing him are like, yeah, look, look how hard they're trying to keep this dude down, right? Mm-hmm. So now 
coming in. Yeah, they keep they keep him in more the Stormy Daniels shit. Now he right. got Stormy, Stormy re Daniels. in trouble for it, it, not for anything yeah. like prostitution or anything. It was just misallocation of yeah. funds. Yeah, and I was exactly. like, that's what Which, they're getting them on. Well, and dude, it, if they're gonna dude, get him on that, dude, why not the Pentagon, bro? They can lose billions of dollars. Whoopsies, don't know where it is, but nothing ever happens to them. Yeah. Right. Dude, I think I think Trump think, was was already going to win. Yeah. After the after like Biden's recent like <laughs> j- displays, I think, I think he called and now, Trump the vice president at one point in a stage. He, he did. And, like, I think it was in another like speech. He called him the vice president, and then he was introducing uh, Zelensky at, at like the G whatever. Oh, and he said Putin, didn't he? Yeah, he, yeah. President Putin, and he's like. Oh mm. shit! <laughs> uh, I, I I was just th- I was thinking about how shitty that guy was. The, the guy <laughs> I like, this God is damn it, Zelensky. Biden, shut the fuck up! <laughs> I, the reason up. I said that is because I'm I, so he that guy so sucks stressed. so much. Yeah. He's on my brain. Yeah, it was fucking weird. But dude, yeah. Trump Trump's gonna win. He I I would I would put a large amount of money on Trump winning. Now, I, it, I like, would too, dude. I would even too, even just after that, but now that he's been clipped, dude, you know how yeah, that's gonna get the people convenient. going. Very convenient, isn't it? If I can be at a rally and then get clipped, not dude. Dead. I think he was clipped. already gonna win. Yeah, yeah. Well, now he's definitely got a bunch of people riled up because you've seen it with your leftist friends. How fucking ready they were for him to be dead. Think about the other side. All the people yeah. that are like, you see, we told you they've been trying to kill him this whole time. We told you they've been trying to hold him down. And now they have, like, what, more That'd proof. be crazy, dude. If, if, if like, he actually did get killed, that, that would be fucking crazy. Well, but if he, got, if he got killed, who would run? Uh, Same as Bi- if Biden steps know. down, who would run? Do you even have anybody in mind that the it'd Democrats probably, it'd, and Republicans? It'd probably be fucking DeSantis and Newsom, or not? Yeah. I don't know. I forget the guy's name in California, but oh, uh... or like Kamala was she? I mean, she Kamala would that'd be. be good. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. Well. Well, see, like like Tim Dillon said, and a lot of other people have said recently, uh, the country's been running, right? Mm-hmm. With Biden in charge, which just proves that it's not the president who runs the shit in the first place at all. Because if it was, if it was Biden who was making all the decisions very clearly, we'd be in like a lot deeper shit than we already are. If he doesn't know how to, he can't remember who people are, right? That's pretty, I don't know. That's just a sign of like not being in real. You think the presidency is like not that important? No, I don't think it is, dude. Or the vice president, man. I don't think that. Uh-huh. I mean, it's the same thing, dude. Trump was president. He was president for four years. Did he tear down the in- in- military industrial complex? Did he tear down the deep state? No. Couldn't. Could he? Because he's not. The president doesn't have that power. Mm, Biden's been president, yeah. dude. Did he fucking tear down the military industrial complex? Did he get rid of the deep state? No. Still there. Cause the I, ones that I, I mean, maybe running. you can't, dude. I don't know. That's it's just that's what I'm saying. You can't. It's the fucking Who? Illuminati smokes and shadows, dude. That thing. Maybe, the, man. I don't even think it's that that fucking secretive. I think it's a a conglomerate of business people that are from some of the major corporations that own basically everything in the world, mm-hmm. and they all confer, including like you know the the, the military contracting companies. Sure. All stuff. They're yeah. all owned by the same company. They got money. Yeah. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Wars, yeah, they, wars I mean, been good for business of lately. Businessmen, a bunch of fucking shareholders, and they all get together probably on Zoom calls once a week just mm-hmm. to kind of see what's going. Make sure their you know, emails are going through all right and everything's functioning normally and stuff. And they're like, sure. oh look, what's going on in the states right now? Yeah, fucking all those people arguing and bickering over each other. Meanwhile, we're gouging prices on fuel and energy and fucking food and fucking cars I mean, and houses. I mean, do you think that there's like a there's like a deep state Zoom call. Fucking you know? up, dude. Why wouldn't you think you think they get together on Zoom and they're like, "All right, let's. What do we want to do? Israel, go. You know, what are we doing? What are we not doing? You know. No, I think it's even more sterile than that, dude. What do you mean? 
I think it's more like a bunch of spreadsheets, all <laughs> numbers, how much money is coming in, going out for whatever it is, industry, this, that, and the other thing. And they're like, okay, well, this com- this section of the company, I'm just going to say it's all company. money, huh? This section, yeah. I, I mean, sure. Why not, dude? That's that's what's been running the fucking world. Dude. Sure. I mean, like, um, like Greek Roman times up through fucking uh, se- up to seventeen seventy six. Man, it was truly the merchants that run the world, right? It wasn't the armies. It was the trade between the armies and the, and the countries that really decided who was who had the power. You know, that's fucking mm-hmm. why they nicked the tea from me, like uh, the Asia and, and spices and stuff like that, dude. That's why they nicked it. That's why they nicked it, man. Thank you, ours. We sell this now. And you, well, you guys do all the work still, though, and uh, we'll sell it. So, I mean, yeah. money has always ruled. That makes me want to play so, civilization real bad. Yeah, no, it does. Yeah, but how often do you do the economic win? I don't, I don't think there is an economic win. I think it's, it's like, uh, it's like cultural or something. Mm hmm. I wonder if that's because economically you can't win. You can only lose. Right? Economically, you can just go bankrupt and have zero money. But if you're doing good, it's because you're a part of it. the rest of the system that's also doing really well. You know, you buy this and then they buy this from you and then you buy that from them and then buy this from you. You never really succeed. You only grow. But you can fail economically. I don't know. I might be reading too much into it. I'm not sure. I don't know, dude. I'm a little over today. I think you're right about um, the money. The money kind of runs shit. But, uh, you know, dude, I don't know. Who who decides to, you know, put throw a bullet at, at Trump, you know? Like, why? Good question. I mean, well, you can only speculate. Right? Yeah. But I, I think it's it's best to look at it from both perspectives. So say, you think it's a, you think it's the deep state? Do you think it's like a lefty, a super lefty that's upset? Do you think it could it's be a, it could be a super lefty, like another that's upset. country, perhaps? Could be another country, but see, I don't think any of the other countries really really despise Trump that much. If you're being completely honest, nobody really likes Biden, and yeah. nobody really had a bad time when Trump was under the presidency. I mean, people did, of course, and people always do. That's politics, but. Um, I don't know, man. Like, I, it could be a leftist that's been riled up by the media. It could be a fucking uh, a crazy, just a nutter, dude. Somebody who thinks that Jesus, or that, that Trump is like the second coming of Jesus or the third coming of Jesus, and to like bring forth the apocalypse, they need to kill him. I don't fucking know. Could be mm. the deep state trying to take him out, but. If it was the deep state trying to take him out, I feel I like they, they don't miss, dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I feel they like they don't him. miss, dude. <laughs> yeah, he wouldn't be fucking just clipped in the ear. I think it was the Trump campaign, dude. And I don't even you think, think it they was... told him, bro. Yeah, I don't fuck. even think they told him, dude. It's Honestly, he got that's so he good. He was alone, dude. Yeah, that's so good. Yeah, bro. if you were like his campaign manager, but like graze him, just graze him, and he. And he and like he like he gets back he like what the fuck that was crazy and and like his his man his like campaign manager it's a woman somehow I don't know how that happened but it's a woman she goes a hot woman she goes you're welcome sir he's like yeah. what he's like she's like gotcha <laughs> don't you worry Mr President, President. Mr President <laughs> Mr President reelect. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man. Yeah. Uh, sketchy, dude. I don't know. Uh, it's easy to get riled up, at least for me. It's easy to get riled up about politics and how depressing it is and <clears throat> all that. Yeah, dude. You're, <coughs> oh, man, excuse you're me. a little too tied in, in dude. Good fucking politi- podcasting. Um, I'm not, actually. I'm not really tied in, dude. I, I walk that fine line between getting riled up about it and understanding that it, I have no impact on it whatsoever. Mm. Yeah, right? that's There's just the system, Daddy. nothing I can do Daddy. to change it. Nothing we can do to change it. At most, we can convince... I don't know how many people listen to this podcast. Like, seven people to be like, hey, guys. Are we up to maybe, seven? Maybe that's nice. the system is a little bit fucked up. Maybe you guys should, like, vote third party or something. I don't know. But those seven people aren't going to affect... The outcome of the election. I don't know, dude. I think, even, I think this show's a needle mover. 
even if, even if somehow we managed to convince hundreds of thousands or even millions of people to like not vote left or right and fucking, even if that was enough to fucking sway the kind of an election where it would make a third party look a little bit, you know, like actually get into the debates and stuff like that, even if we had enough people to do that, I don't even have faith that the system would, would allow that it. happen anyway. Yeah. I just don't. Yeah, I, I mean, dude, how do we know that that's votes America, are dude. correctly, dude? <sighs> Gotta love it. That's America. The illusion of freedom. Right. Love it. It feels pretty free, dude. Wow, it's, it's no, it does. Cool. It does feel that's free. The that's the that's the great thing about it, it does, dude. It does, it does feel, feel that way. Oh, yeah, it does feel that way, dude. Uh, not bad. Feels pretty good. Pretty good. Feels pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> yeah, it's just, uh, you just can't worry about it, man. It's fun to talk about. Fun to speculate on. Uh, but you, ultimately, can't worry about it, bro. It's just it just is one of those things. It's like uh, when it rains outside, it's fucking pissing down rain. Could have grabbed a jacket. Might not have. Who cares? You know, too late. And now it's raining. So whatever preparation you've made for that rain, dude, you just got, you can't turn the rain off. Sometimes that's nice, though. You know, you, you get, you, you're, like, normally getting wet sucks. You're like, Ew, I don't want, but, like, when, when you're just caught, like, and you're, you're fucked. Like, you just know. You're about to get absolutely saturated. You know, you yeah. just accept that. And you're like, yeah. fuck it. We're going to go. We're, we're just going to be in the rain. Yeah. That's I'm cool. I'm not going to speed up my walk or anything. I'm not going to try to skip over to the wagon. Yeah. And under some cover or anything. It's too late. Are, like, phones officially waterproof now? I think they are. And, like, you know, like, my wallet's just all, uh, like, metal and plastic at this point. So, I'm good, dude. I don't know, man. Yeah. I think phones are phones are like pretty much waterproof now to like a certain depth. I'll agree with you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, I'm I'm, I agree pr- with you. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> All right, you know what? Let's look up a couple things. Are okay. uh phones waterproof? I think no. iPhones are water resistant up to like probably like half uh, a meter or something like that. Uh, it, well, yeah, I should probably specify our iPhones. Yeah, a lot of waterproof phones, now. You know? Nokia is, might be waterproof. Ooh. Water resistant. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, they could be submerged in up to six meters of water for up to 30 minutes. Six meters, wow. That's a lot of that's a lot of pressure for a little phone like that. Let's have some good seals. Yeah. So <coughs> it's pretty good. Oh, yeah, dude. You can you can get that wet in the rain. And let's see if there's an update on, on Trump dog. Trump Trump let's just Google Trump news. Trump's news, man. Fuck. Uh Secret Service rushes Trump offstage after shots fired at his Pennsylvania ready uh, rally. Mm. Uh, expected to survive. That's good. He held up. Oh yeah, dude, th- I did see that part. Like before he got in the car, he like the mo. Dude, never miss a moment. Is in- is incredible by this guy. He just like yeah. puts a fist up in the air. That's what right I'm before saying, they push man. him in the fucking. Right before that they push is- him in the SUV. That is what I'm saying, bro. That's why Curly said it looked like when he was on like the WWE, bro. And you know they would come up and hit him, and the, it looked fake, bro. Yeah, it looked fake. That is not. I don't. I mean, I maybe don't think it, it is fake. how you react when you're Trump, man. Maybe you just like, yeah, I'm shot, dude. Fucking, let's go. Uh, safe and expected to survive. Uh, about six minutes into his speech, popping sound rang out over the rally. He crouched down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Escort into a vehicle. Here's what I want to know. And maybe you have an answer for me. Yeah, go on. So when they do the rallies, usually it's like they're up on the podium and they've got people behind them listening to them as well, right? Yeah. So if he got shot, they shot at his head. 
and clipped his ear. Did they hit the people behind him? Uh, no, he he actually had his head turned. And I think he got shot from behind. So, like, so like he, he was facing this way. Behind. He got shot from behind. That's what it looks like in the video. So, like, okay. it's, it's like so he's did, facing this way. He turns this way. And I think he got grazed by a shot this way. Okay, but he's still got people surrounding him then, right? In the yeah. Because he's talking to them. Yeah, maybe. So did one of those people get shot? I don't know. That's what I was looking at. Um, it says... Like, I hope not, but I don't see how you avoid it. Uh, reporters on the scene saw smoke and heard what they initially thought were fireworks before everyone ducked and law enforcement encircled Trump. Screams from the audience rang out as the scene unfolded... Speaking in a parking lot near the event site, a mother and son who were attending the rally uh, told told us that people in the crowd were injured and carried away. Yeah. People remained at the scene for 10 to 15 minutes after it was carried away, after which they were told it was an active crime scene and all attendees were escorted out. Wow. That would have been a long fucking process. Yeah, that's pretty wild. You have to interview every single one of those people on the way out. Oh man, yeah, that would have been a long process. Get everybody down to the station, get statements. <coughs> oh man, fuck me, dude. Damn, dude. Yeah, that's wild, man. There's a photo of him looking super cool with like an American flag behind him. He's definitely gonna win. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> there's like blood there's like blood on his face with him like fist pumping with an American flag above him. Yeah, right. Just on happenstance and like and like he's being like tackled by yeah. this the the Secret Service. Yeah. Damn. Well, that's it. Yeah. That's it, folks. So, okay. It's over. So Trump wins this election, right? Almost guaranteed at this moment. Do you do you reckon Biden runs next time? No, he's not going to make another four years, bro. How do you know? I, I mean, it would just be like, they'd have to cut his head off and like put it in a jar kind of thing, like Futurama. Yeah, yeah. what if that's the beginning, dude? What if it wasn't? Um, <sighs> I'd probably fucking, vote uh, for him because that'd be cool as fuck. Yeah, that'd be cool, dude. That would be pretty cool. Maybe yeah. we should make all the politicians heads in jars. Um, Why? Well, I mean, they can be politicians for as long as they want, but they have to give up the the life. You have to, you you know, to give up your body? Being, a, being your body, yeah, having a body, yeah. Mm. Can you still come? Uh, I want. I like to think that if you have brain and jar technology, yeah. you have some kind of like mental cum button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm thinking too. Is that like, yeah? Of course, there's not gonna be any like ejaculate, but like you can yeah. still press press that like pre like pleasure button in your brain. Yeah, yeah. I think so. I think I think that's that's got to be yeah for sure. Okay. Yeah. Maybe it's like um maybe it's like a little there's like a like a um like a little like, magnetic strip on the side of mm -hmm. your tank and you, you like move your like head to the side and you stroke your nose on this little magnetic strip and that until you have a mind like, gasm. And, yeah, it activates your mind gasm. You're like oh and you're like your head just what did it look like? Would your head just be shaking in the jar? I guess your so, eyes, yeah. Like rolling in the back of your head. <sighs> Sounds pretty good. Fuck doesn't sound bad, does it? <laughs> no, man, <I> <laughs> All right. Orgasm every time, dude. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> I mean, Damn, that's dude. how it is anyway. <laughs> what if you start getting like ED issues, like your fucking magnet Brainy? just doesn't do it, doesn't do it oh, for you anymore. No. Can you imagine, dude? You're like, your pituitary gland is just all shriveled up. Like, please no. That's all right, dude. They give it to me. They make like a fluid for that. For like, I don't know. It's like neuron. I don't know. Like neuron uh, engorgement instead of like just, your your dick tissue. It's like, oh, it's yeah. like uh, this makes your synapses. Connect so you, so we yeah. so you can man, you can mind gasm again. It gives you throbbing synapses. Yeah, Real yeah, girthy dude. connections between. Fuck them. yeah, dude! Now you're talking, daddy. Hell That's yeah. what I want, dude. We're Man, fucking, I want. 
Ooh, I want those We're thick, <laughs> bro. Thick. We're neuron maxing, dude. Dude, my myelon sheath, bro. So oh, thick, dude. Fucking thick and conductive for electricity as well. Cause you it's bet your ass, as dude. Shit, bro. Dude, oh, did you yeah. bet your fucking neck hole? Hey, man. Hey, you bet your bottom of your throat. You know? Yeah. yeah. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Yeah, fucking. Whew. That'd be cool, man. We could still, we could, you know. Oh man. <coughs> oh my god. Oh shit, bro. Oh shit. I was gonna say that we could still do the podcast. So that'd be cool. Oh, oh, if we were heads. Yeah, and we could, in theory, we could jerk off during the podcast with our minds. Yeah. That would be interesting. <laughs> to, to have a conversation together as we're both mind gasming. Yeah, I, you know, I don't is that know gay? how that would. I don't know how that would go. Is that honestly. gay, dude? Because you know, we never had a conversation while we were jerking off above and below each other in the barracks. <laughs> right. Yeah. We always did that on the DL. Yeah, so dude. I, think, yeah, I mean, it would be kind of neat. Step. You know, it would be kind of neat to sync up our our gasms. Yeah. yeah, that's very true. Like, what if we <laughs> we could <laughs> we could connect the buttons, dude. And so um, whenever okay, one of that us is hits the gay. button, whenever one of us hits the button, it makes both of us fucking just brain nut. Uh, dude, you'd be you'd be so annoying pressing my brain nut all the time. <laughs> I'd be I'd be in the middle of like I don't know like a deep point, you know, about yeah. uh, I don't know, something yeah, something I think, fucking I don't know. I always have a crisis about something, and then you just then you just brain nut me, dude. Yeah, yeah, brains just. Brain nut, dude. Forget. Oh, what was I talking about? Brain nut. Yeah. I mean, I feel like you'd never get anything done. I mean, it's a it's a wonder we get anything done now with with masturbation. I mean, do we? Do we get much done? I mean, I yeah, I, I get some stuff done. I get more stuff done now that I'm not jerking off as much. That's for sure. Are you jerking off less? Oh, heaps less. Yeah, maybe like twice mm. a week. I, I think I'm about at a twice a week right now myself. Yeah. I think like twice a week. It's, it's it's nice. Like when I do, it feels good, and I don't think about it all the time. I'm yeah. not like at work thinking like, oh man, I could really go fucking jerk off right a, now. Port a loo and go wank off or something, you know. Dude, it's, it's been thoughts. a long time since I've jerked off on a porter potty. Mm, I feel like yeah. it's been less for you. It has, yes, very much <laughs> less. Less time has uh, passed. There, there's been a few times <laughs> where I've been in a portaloo, like maybe the middle of the night in the middle of nowhere. Going, yeah, eh, you know, whatever, dude. Yeah, dude. You know what uh, I do in, in Okinawa? With not that I ever did that in Australia because that is illegal. Yeah, that would be illegal. Um, you know what I did when we were in Okinawa, uh, where it's not illegal. Uh, um, is uh, they would send me yeah, on dispatch think... to like, hey, go fucking offload this truck at this random fucking site. Yeah. So a lot of times they would just send you off in like this giant piece of gear. And then you'd yeah. go, like you'd get to like this fucking offload area and you'd be waiting on a truck or something. Mm. And you're just like, oh, your job is to sit there. And I'd be like, okay, there ain't nobody. No. Ain't nobody around right now. Nah. So then, yeah, you just jerk off in a piece of government equipment. Yeah, in your pants too. What do you mean, in you your jerk pants? Off into your pants, or do you like have tissues, or what do you do with the? the oh, pants? you just you jerk off into a Gatorade bottle. Oh, right. As it, I mean, I wasn't fucking the Gatorade bottle, but like when it came to come time, I, I was like, and then oh, try to grab, grab a Gatorade. Quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah try to. Keeping your pullout game in practice too, I guess. Uh, that's right, dude. It never stopped. Control. Yeah. Yeah, never stopped working on that. Um, I don't think I ever jerked off into a Gatorade bottle, and I think it sounds like you kind of missed an opportunity by not fucking the Gatorade bottle. To be completely <laughs> honest, it could have been really nice. It's, Who it's knows? about right, you know. It is. Yeah, it's got a nice wide mouth on it, so you could put something in there to feel sure, slick, sure, you know? sure. Yeah. Um, I bet people have done it. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure they have, bro. I only <laughs> use it as a people. as a cum receptacle, um, but I bet I bet there's people that that give it a real go. 
I'm sure there's been some uh, many, many a hospital trip with people with their nut- dicks stuck in a Gatorade bottle. Dude, dude, I've been so terrified to become one of those people that like goes to the hospital with something weird in their ass. <laughs> like that, uh, like I'm not like saying le- that's me. Like but legit terrifying. I'm not it's like s- an irrational fear you have. I don't know if it's. I wouldn't say irrational. It's not that irrational. <laughs> <laughs> I think over the course of my life, I'm I'm probably only only going to get kinkier. You know, and like right now, I'm I'm pretty fit, like foot loose and fancy free when it comes to stuff in my ass. Right. So, um, I I just don't want to be that guy. You know, that's no. I, I I don't want to be in the ER with something like vibrating up my ass, and I'm like I can't get it. <laughs> like a can't get I just, I'm, the wings extended. <laughs> can't get it. <laughs> I gotta go to the hospital now. I would you would try you would try pretty much everything. Right before, before going yeah. to the hospital. What's your, what's your limit? Like I, you, there, there has like to be a limit. Janie I guess. reaching her arm up there, kind of thing. Like, would you basically do anal fisting to get whatever it is out? If it I think you, I think you would. Hospital? Yeah, for me at least, I'd be like, all right, I guess just fist me and get grab it. Mm. You know what? Who who cares if you? I don't know. You you tear a little bit of butthole. You know, it's worth it. I'm 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 not going to the fucking hospital. Right now, well, uh, that's why um, that's why those people died in like the nineties when they had like uh, gerbils up their ass. Was that real, and dude? I don't know if that was real. That was real, man. There was a lady who had a rotten gerbil inside her anal rotten. cavity. Rotten, rotten. It died in there, and it rotted, and it got her really sick. And I think she died. Could she just not poop it out? Well, then that was it. Was like up inside and in, in the anal cavity, so it was like around and. Yeah, I don't know. I don't a bit know. of prune juice take care take care of that right away, dude. I don't just go to the fucking doctor, dude. They'll pull it out for you, man. No, even better. I've actually you gotta I've, prune I, juice that first. I I know how embarrassing it is to have doctors pull shit out, and I know how hard it is to be anal fisted. Not fun, especially your first few times. And if you're stressed out already, um, you know I get it. So sure. I have just come up with the perfect tool for these situations. Are you ready? Is, is it spit? No, no, it's not spit. You could use spit. In, the spit could be involved with this. A fucking sure, hot two, dude. Hot two. Hot two. Dude, that chick, man. She's fucking making a mid now. Dude. I, I, <laughs> How I, does it feel, bro? One I, video. I love that. I love that. Skyrocketed to fucking yeah, fame. I love it for her. Uh, it. Sorry, go on. In. It's a tool. <coughs> I'm a tool. So, you get some um, fishing line, right? Okay. Get some fishing line and you make make a loop like that. And you get a rubber band and you make it so that it's around the loop and on a stick. Okay? So you take the loop and you've got a loop here and then you put a rubber band around it on a stick. Okay? So it keeps the loop in place so you can push it inside. All right? Mm-hmm. And what you do is you insert that stick into the ass, into the anal cavity until you can get that loop around something cool. that is... I have a question. The thing that's stuck in your ass, yes. Uh, is the this sounds a bit like a two man job? Yeah. Oh, it is. Yeah. No, you don't want to do this by yourself. Do not attempt this by yourself. Uh, but I don't know, dude. I'm 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 just saying, if you're in this situation, odds are you are by yourself. If you've been putting that weirder stuff in your butt, that's probably a solo activity. Well, that's where you went wrong in the first place. And if you're listening to this, you're thinking to yourself, man. I'm too weird. My anal shit's way too weird to invite other people in. I'm here to tell you that there are other people out there <laughs> that would enjoy in what it is. They have some some anal there. things with you. Find them. It's easiest, easier than it's ever been on, on <laughs> now to find people that are into exactly what it is you are into. There never, ever has it been easier in uh, this planet's existence to uh, yeah. find a find a friend. Find a friend to put shit up each other's asses. Yeah. Not even in a sexual way, just like an experimental way. I'm sure hmm. there's somebody out there. Hmm. Yeah. Like Basically, somebody's just taking notes. What I'm, what I'm just, yeah, they're like, oh, fucking, you're, you know, like a right. fucking trip flag. Like a, like a snare, yeah. dude. You're describing, but you just put a snare. Yeah, it's like a dog catcher snare, but for your ass. What do you mean, dog catcher? You catching you know, dogs like dog, with that? Dog, Dog catching snares, like they like when they like got an aggressive dog, they've got the pole with a loop on it. Oh, uh, like why, why don't you just use that? 
It sounds like they already make something. It's a little bit fucking big to be sticking up your ass, don't you think, dude? So is the gerbil. On a mini version? Well, yeah, you want a little version made out of, like, I don't know, fucking popsicle sticks taped together or fucking maybe, like, a fishing pole itself. That's not going to get through, dude. You're going to need something sturdy to, to pull to pull the gerb out. Yeah, you're right. All right, dude, off to Bunnings, bro. We're going to go get a wooden <laughs> dowel. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe like a quarter, like a, a quarter inch in diameter mahogany dowel. Oh, and dude, yeah, that sounds that. nice, the, bro. I, I went to uh, to Home Depot yesterday, mm-hmm. and I went to the nice wood section, and like they don't really tell you the price; they just tell you like. Uh, in fact, it's super confusing have. actually, and they're all like different lengths and shit. I was like, whatever, I'll just. If you have to ask, you can't afford it. Uh, and I didn't. I didn't ask. Um, so I, I just grabbed a couple pieces of wood cause I was building this shelf, um, in my laundry room and it felt good to do today. Felt good. Did feel good, dude. It's good it's shelf. Candy, man. Yeah. We're going to put all of the dog stuff on it, dude. So I built a shelf today. Like a man would build a of, fucking shelf. What kind what? of wood did you use? I don't know. Uh, expensive wood because I I got I bought like two pieces of wood, yeah, and it was like a hundred and twelve bucks. What the fuck? Fu- That's what I said, dude. But he already rung it up. What I was supposed to do? Be like, oh no. Let me yeah, go get that's other exactly wood. What you do. You're like, hey man, that's pretty expensive wood. I'm gonna go get some other stuff. No, I didn't do that, dude. I was just like, oh shit. All right. I wouldn't pay that much for that. Wood. I think I did it out of like. <laughs> you didn't want to be embarrassed. Yeah, yeah. You didn't, you didn't want yeah, to be I, did, I didn't want to be by like people behind you in line. Oh, this the, doesn't even have, can't even afford nice wood. There wasn't even anybody behind me in line. It was just like it was just like one fucking like ambiguous teenager, you know, like just really long hair. And I'm like, uh, "Hey, bro." It was one of those. Were you scared of? Were you scared of this ambiguous teenager? Uh, I, it, it definitely threw me off guard. You know, I you know I, I get I get a little like ah, fuck. I don't know how to interact with this person. Right. Uh, but then also the the cost of wood surprised me. But I was also like ah fuck uh, a little bit. Stoned. All right, I'll just take just take fucking it. get me out of here. Yeah, I just want to be out of here as fast as I can. Yeah. I so I bought really expensive piece. wood, but I built a shelf, dude, and the shelf looks okay. damn fine, son. Yeah. Uh, it's been a minute since I've since I've crafted anything with my hands, so <coughs> it's a there's nice touch. There's something really nice about uh, building something from nothing. Like mm-hmm. you said, crafting with your hands, fuck, that's yeah. I haven't done that in Yonks, bro. That sounds fucking good. Oh that yeah, dude. Good. It was it was good. And then and then uh, yesterday, day before. I replaced the the rollers on my sliding glass door, bro. Now it opens yeah. like butter, dude. It was real heavy before. Wow. Dude, works like a charm now. Yeah. I'm like two for two in like fucking man shit, dude. Yeah. You know how heavy a sliding glass door is, by the way? Heavier than you think. Yeah, it does. It is heavier than it think, than you think. <laughs> yeah. And the rollers on the bottom are surprisingly irritating to put in and off. Yeah. Uh, also, off. also a two man job that you know, I just soloed. Is it a two man job? Yeah, much like much like removing something from your ass using a long snare pole. Mm. Um, a two man job, okay. but boy, made it work. Solo, dude. As you as you do. God damn me, dude. Yeah, what's up, um, man? How's those lungs? You, dude, I think I'm just sick. I'm a sickly oh. person now. Damn, dude. What's up? Dude, you have been me. fucking ill lately. I don't like this for you. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Maybe I'm dying. Maybe you've been, you, you've of... had like a cold for like a month now, bro. I don't like that. Yeah, don't Maybe like you have that. long COVID. <laughs> long COVID. Maybe, dude. Maybe I do. Maybe I've got permanent lung damage. Maybe I need to change my habits, dude. Maybe, I need Maybe to it's all the smoking. smoking you do. Maybe it's the smoking that I do, dude. You know, I don't smoke that much. You know, I do not smoke that many cigarettes in a day. I'll have like four. How many? All day. Four? Tops. Yeah, four's, four's a large... Uh, that's still smoke into your lungs, you know? Yeah, for sure it is. 
but it's not like people that are smoking a pack a day, which is like 20 cigarettes. I'm not smoking near that. Did, I, I don't know. I don't know if I told you or not, but whenever, um, oh no, because we had William on last week. I don't think I got to it. Um, but I, uh, I went camping for the fourth, and uh, yeah, how was that, dude? It was it was really good, dude. We had fucking a hoot of a time. We just did like fucking mushrooms and giggled kind of thing. Mm. Um. And you, dude, your boy was on as well. <laughs> Holy fuck! But uh, I also just started borrowing these fucking vapes, and so like I was just hitting these fucking vapes as I was like sitting around this campfire, and I was like, "Damn, dude, nicotine's wild, actually." <laughs> so I, I think I, I think I might have uh, accidentally gotten into nicotine. Uh oh. Oops. Are you thinking about getting a vape now? No, no, no. I would never allow myself to do that. Um, but I, I think I'm going to keep it for a camping activity. I was like, yeah. I was like, if I'm going camping, that's that would be when I allow myself to just fucking rip nicotine all day. Mm-hmm. I tried a Zen. Have you tried one of these? A Zen? No, a Zen pouch. No. Yeah, yeah. They're they're pop. They're very popular in the states. All of a sudden. Yeah. Is it basically a tobacco pouch? It is uh, something. There's something else to it. I don't know why it's it's different than every other fucking tobacco pouch mm. out there. Maybe it's the strength or like type of fucking something to it. I don't know. Yeah. Um, but dude, it like totally like numbed my face and mouth and, or like my tongue. Uh, I, I, I made I made it like four minutes and spit it out. But okay. anyway, uh, yeah, nicotine, nicotine's fucking wild, bro. It makes you feel it real is. good for for like for like a, a minute, bit. yeah. <laughs> and then you just really want to hit of it again. Another one, yeah. Have another cigarette. Yeah. Have another smoke. Have another one. Another yeah, one, dude. Went and bought split. I, I haven't had splits in a while, and I was like, just told myself that it was, uh, you know, I was like, oh, you know, I haven't had this in a while. You know, probably about time I did, and I'm like, oh, I think that's the my nicotine addiction yeah. telling me to get <laughs> some like, more yeah. fucking nicotine. You want to just, I mean, we can have a spliffy, dude. Spliffy, bro. It's like the yeah. best of both worlds, man. You're not actually having a cigarette. It is. I mean, spliffy, spliffies are nice in their own way, though. They are. Yeah, it's different from having a joint uh, smoking a spliff. Yeah, it's a completely bit different, different experience. Yeah, nice. Yeah, I might roll yeah, another nice. one after this. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> no, I can't. Because I live in Australia where that is illegal. I live in um, Colorado. where Colorado. You can, you can do whatever you want here. <coughs> besides I wanna, not recycle. What? I want to I wanna, uh, do uh, mushrooms on a boat. And I want to um, I wanna ask you your opinion on something. But I also want to grab some more coffee. Is that okay? Sure, brother. Are you going to do a refill? Yeah, yeah, I'll go grab some coffee real quick, too. How much time we have left that you um, are able to do this? Uh, probably about probably about 15. 15 minutes? Okay, yeah. I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> Abracadabra. I'm really fucked up now. Hello, hello, everybody that's listening to this, which is nobody because I'll probably edit it out. Thanks for being amazing. You guys rock. Gunny Kaiser, as always, you rock. Don't take life too seriously. And in fact, wear sunglasses when you can because, you know, what else are you going to do? You know what I mean? You just gotta, you just gotta live it and run with it, and and not take life too on the nose. What's going on? Let life rest on your nose, similar to how sunglasses rest on your nose. Yeah, I, f- I found them. On the tip. Don't balance them on the tip. Rest them gently on the bridge. Don't bounce your sunglasses on the tip. Yeah. That sounds like bad advice, dude. Yeah, hey, don't do that. Don't balance them on the tip. Um, yeah. Rest them gently on the bridge. 
You're talking about sunglasses or fucking? Nah, I'm talking about life. Uh, but well, if, if you're possible. fucking, dude, you want them to bounce on the tip. I don't know if you want to bounce it on the tip. Dude. No, not bounce fucking... it on the tip. Bounce it on the tip. Oh, bounce it on the tip. Oh, yeah. Of to course. go for a little yeah. bounce on the tip. Bounce, ain't bounce ain't nothing tip. wrong with a little bounce on the tip, dude. Nothing wrong <laughs> with a bit of bouncy tip. Bouncy tip, see nothing wrong. I don't see nothing wrong. Um, with a little bump and grind. With a little bounce of tip. Bounce of tip. Okay. Bounce of tip. I, lo- I love a bounce of tip. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah. Me too. All right, dude. Uh, I have a question for you, real quick. Shoot. We go. So, say you and Janie. Or watch say okay say say Maggie and Brooke have like immaculate conception conception and produce two children all of a sudden okay they okay have a niece and a nephew of like five and six months eight months eighteen months okay okay it's a bit specific but that's not really in the weeds it's okay it's neither here nor there no okay. yeah you all guys right. <laughs> you guys are watching these two kids in your backyard right. And all of a sudden, a a fucking angry pit bull runs in mm. into your yard somehow, right? And starts trying to go the kids. Mm. What's your reaction? You got to kill that dog immediately, right? How do you react though? Uh, kill the dog straight away. You- I mean, I mean, like you definitely try to like it, you. It doesn't even have to be fucking my sister-in-law's kids, you know. Uh, right. Just any any child any that I see time. with an angry pit bull running at them, I'm yeah. I'm gonna get in the way because wow. I know that it's gonna be uh, much harder for an angry pit bull to kill me than not, not impossible. Like you you can get super fucked up by a pit bull. Oh yeah. Um. But it's much harder for it to kill me than a than a kid. Uh, so I reckon I'd be a fucking hero, and uh, it, at least at least draw its ire to like push a kid out of the way. Um, but yeah, I think at that point, you know, if I'm if I'm in combat with against a a dog, right? Uh, yeah. I think it's trying to kill it. How, how how angry? Like real angry? So in the story that I read, <coughs> um, the dog actually did grab onto the five year old's leg mm. and wasn't letting go. Right now, what happened was husband and wife they're watching the husband's kids, niece and nephew. Or sorry, watching the husband's niece and nephew. And just some random pit bull got in their yard. A random pit bull got into their yard from off the street, right? Fuck. Now, latches on to the five-year-old. The wife um, grabs the 18-month-old and chucks her up on a on a barbecue and is screaming for the husband to go grab bear mace from inside the house, right? Oh, oh bear mace would be effective, I, I reckon. Would be, it would be effective, yes. Uh, not as effective as just running out of the gate and fucking off. And not, oh no, sorry, he closed the gates behind him. Sorry, he closed. Oh, the he gate just ran him. away. Oh yeah, he liked it. Yeah, he liked it. Oh so fuck. So he left his wife there, and this uh, pit bull is aggressively attacking like a five year old. So she picks up a shovel and starts hitting the pit bull with the yeah. shovel until it lets go of the kid. She puts the kid on her back. Hell and yeah. Then Hits the pit bull until it she kills it in front of these kids. I mean, and I reckon uh, got, I reckon that's the right thing to do. I think so. She did. It, she got bit bark. a bunch too. You said she got bit like three or four times on the legs. Yeah, so yeah. she did get bit on the legs. They only they only found out um, when they went to the hospital. Uh, so True. yeah, he he legs it. Doesn't even go get the bear mace. He just runs out the gate um, and then Damn, closes dude. the gate behind him. Uh, and then came Damn, back. Dude. How could you after ever? The dog was dead. How could you wow. ever look at that man the same? You could, you thing, couldn't. Okay. Here's the thing, right? Is that that's actually what the whole story was about? Was after the fact, she's like at the hospital trying to explain to the the um, her sister in law and brother in law about how like you know sorry she is, you know, and and all this stuff. And they're like, well, where were you to the husband? 
and they're not talking to him anymore. Apparently, <laughs> I don't think whatever whatever excuse he gave wasn't no, good dude. enough for them. You gotta be and, you gotta be a hero. I mean, especially to like a dog. If, yeah. Okay, here's here's a little different of a scenario mm. for you. Uh, okay. It, it, same situation, but it's a bear, an angry like grizzly. Right. Um, it, it, now that that evens the stakes a bit, uh, as far as uh, its ability to kill you and a child are are around the same right. degree. Pro- it's still easier to kill a child than than you, but yeah. uh, it's still a grizzly bear. It can probably take you out in one swipe. Well, the the technique that I come up with for the dog first up was to stick my thumb up its ass so it lets go of the kid and i reckon you could probably do that with bears still except it'd probably be your whole fist uh no dude you know how to do it uh, especially some do- dogs will like latch on and like they won't let go yeah. you you pick you pick up their back legs and twist oh, oh right. you pick up their back legs and twist and it like fucks up their equilibrium or something and they yeah. let go <laughs> Yeah, uh, I know that because Brianna actually that that that, uh, that a similar situation like that happened to Brianna. Okay. N- uh, n- not with a kid, but there was just there was like they're just walking. It was like um, it was like uh, her brother had a pit bull, and like her and her mom were like taking their dogs on a walk. So like Brianna was like walking this pit bull. And then this other dog, just they see it like run running up on not on a leash, and they're like, "Oh fucking!" Uh-oh. Like this isn't like this isn't gonna be good. Like this no. dog, like this pit bull will fucking attack this dog if he runs up. Yeah. Um. And so like she she goes like and like hides behind a bush, and then like the dog runs up and is like real you know just just a playful dog, mm. um but just off leash. And yeah. uh, and then I guess it, like either heard or like smelled or something, and like Brianna behind this bush with yeah. with this pit bull, runs over, jumps right at the pit bull. Pit bull grabs it by the back, dude. Like oh, just fuck. Uh, and starts latches like, on the spine. I, I don't know how. I don't know if it was like. I, I guess I think it was probably like a similar sized dog, so like it couldn't do like super damage like that, but um. <laughs> <laughs> it just latched onto this fucking dog, dude, yeah. and then, uh, and then like they couldn't fucking, they couldn't get, get the, they couldn't, they, they, they didn't know that trick. Brianna said she learned that afterward, yeah. but it just latched on this fucking dog, and then like they're they're just like, we don't know what to do, and they're like hitting it, they're like hitting them, and then they're like punching this fucking pit bull just to let go, and like yeah. the like the owners of the other dog come running up, and they're like. Whoa! What the Whoa, fuck? What's happening? Yeah. I mean, it was like their dog off leash, you know? Like that's yeah, it's their fault. Yeah, yeah it's definitely there's their fault. To, there's nobody to blame but them too. Yeah. Yeah. So, so then, uh, eventually, they just like pry. Brianna like pries the fucking mouth off the dog, and actually bites Brianna for a second, just like real yeah. quick, like accident. I don't know about accident, but like accidentally, like bites. Mm-hmm. Realizes it's, it's like. Oh, oh and then like let's go real quick. Yeah. And just she has like she had to go to the hospital. She had like two, like puncture wounds. Yeah, yeah, dog puncture wounds in her arm. That's crazy, dude. Yeah, I don't know if I could twist a bear's back legs. You couldn't, dude. I think they're but pretty I, heavy. I definitely could stick my fist up its ass, though. I don't know if it would help the situation. Maybe it would make what make if the kid alone. What if it falls in love with you? Then you got bigger but, I mean, problems. Problem still solved, really. I mean. Uh, no, and then, no, no, in fact, no. Actually, son. a lot of a lot of my problems would be solved at that point. I don't have to worry about school anymore. I don't have to worry about fucking bills or taxes. Yeah, did you have a new life? Just, you know, maybe I just go live in a cave. I, you do well in a cave. I think I would do. I, think I would do pretty you have good. The, in the you cave, have the man. the the brow line for it. That's for sure. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Somebody oh, saw my oh, phone oh, today, oh, dude. Yeah. Uh, somebody saw my phone today, and they're like, "They're like, oh, is that a kid on your background?" Yeah, who's that? <laughs> and I'm like, "Oh no, that's my uh, that's my best friend as a child. Uh, this <laughs> this photo of him makes me laugh because he looks silly." You still have it as your background? Yeah. 
Wow, dude. That is, <laughs> dude. that is incredible. I have a whole family now, dude. I have like two cats, a dog, a wife. Dude, I, dude, my background is still you as a toddler with a paintbrush, oh, dude. With a paintbrush, dude. And like fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Oh fuck, bro! I, yeah, I should, I should probably change it to like my family, I guess. I guess, dude. I wouldn't I guess. That's just me. What's your background? I'm a little bit biased. Mine, dude. Is it, a fo- it better be a photo of me. I'm gonna be pissed. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, I haven't changed it since. Oh, actually, you know what? I think I, I don't think I've changed it in over a year. It's just the same. Oh, what? It's black. It's like the same mandala art thing <clears throat> that it's been for youngs. Yeah, that's great. Sorry, dude. I don't have any pictures of you as a kid. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. They're gone. I, I sent you one, like recently, of me holding a chihuahua. I am not putting that on my phone, my bro. That is <laughs> that photo, bro. It's so fucking... <laughs> what did I say? Uh, like, wow, pets really do look like their owners. Uh, you said something. You said something like that. It, it was. It was not great. Podcast real quick, dude. Let's see. Let's see. Dude, there's there's, there's, there's there was a big gap in like photos of me as a child because uh, I don't know if it was like my own self consciousness or what or what the fuck it was. Uh, I think I think a bit of both. But like I would I just started missing picture day like years in a row. For some reason, I would always just miss picture day. So there's like five years of my childhood that are like undocumented in photo in photos. Right. Yeah. So you just, there's just none of them. There's, you just kept missing it. Yeah, I just kept missing it. Oh, there it is. That's a that is a fucking. Oh man. Let me that see. Fucking that is a cracker photo, dude. Oh, you yeah. really can't see it. Uh, it's yeah, it's well bright, well bright, dude. But. Dude. Uh, you can't, you can't, see, or you can see the sweet jorts I was rocking. I don't know when I fucking gave up jorts, dude, but I shouldn't have. <laughs> I don't know why you gave up jorts either, dude. Because uh, you look great, dude. Look at that fucking headlock I had that dog in. I was like, Fuck. <laughs> yeah, look at the t- the fear in its eyes. Dude. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well. It's a good-looking dog, dude. Good-looking kid may turn out to be a good-looking human, man. When you absorb that dog's essence into your body and became yeah. full Jonah, I think that's uh, how childhood works. Yeah, I don't know. That dog sucked, bro. Did it? Yeah, that dog's a terrible dog. Uh, why? Piss shit in the house. The fucking bite you. It's not a very friendly dog. No, terrible dog. Probably because it was getting put in fucking reverse headlocks and yeah, know? I don't think I helped. You know, it, it was also <laughs> no, I was also like so. fucking five, so yeah, not really like, my dog to take care of. <laughs> <laughs> it was also it was also the world's tiniest dog. So <laughs> yeah, it was fucking pretty small looking dog, dude. Did it shake as well? Did it get really cold? Uh, I think it did. It, it also it it lived like way too long. You know, like it, like lost teeth and shit. It would just looks fucking super mangy. For a while, for like years until it finally died. Like like the Taco Bell Chihuahua. Yeah, it it died when I was in uh, I was in um, uh, job school for the Marines. I was in Fort Leonard Wood when it died. Oh, right. Yeah, so like oh, that's sad. Yeah, that dog lived a while. Oh, I didn't care at all. My mom was my, my mom was like really sad, and then I was like, the dog was terrible. I don't know why the fuck you're sad about that. Worst fucking dog. Okay, I'm glad he's gone. <laughs> yeah, the fucking awful right. dog. Did you end up getting? Did she get end up getting another dog? I yes, dude. She have two dogs now. Yes, dude. It pissed me the fuck off. <laughs> this was this was when I decided to I need to like tone it back on how much I care. Uh, my mom my mom went to the shelter to get another like one small dog. Found this like medium sized dog, and then the people at the shelter were like, "Hey, you big fat lady, uh, this dog, this other dog is also really good friends with the dog that you like. This other like medium sized dog." So she went for one small dog, 
and left with two medium sized dogs. <laughs> right. Yeah. And I was like, what the fuck? I was like, I was like, why would they take a look at you and think that it would be okay to send you home with two medium sized dogs? They don't fucking care, man. <laughs> she looks like just somebody trying to, who blows just her trying money to move, on her dogs. Just trying to move merchandise, dude. Just I get it. You know, I get it. Plus, I get they want to charge her for it a little bit, dude. It's a hustle, man. I get like, it, dude. Dog shelters are a hustle, bro. Dude, man, it, it pissed me off. I was like, oh, what the fuck? You can barely take care of yourself. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> what the you fuck? You can take care of yourself as long as you've got some food for the dogs. Yeah. That terrifies yeah. me about, like, being older and, and then having animals. Like, what if I just keel over? It, what, it eats you? What, the dog, the, what mean, does it matter? Dogs, I don't think, do as much, but cats will. Cats will get hungry. They'll just eat your eyes and tongue. Whatever, man. Good. I mean, yeah, I, I, I feel the same way. It's just, you know, I don't want, like, a loved one to fucking walk in and their first, like, is like, holy shit, he's dead. Oh, my God, he's got no eyes or tongue. What happened in here? And then the cast just fucking... Whatever. <laughs> it goes back to fucking... I need, you itself, to, I need you to take that cat, actually. And, like... <laughs> you know, yeah. Somebody's to take care of my cat now, so... It's you. Yeah, some, someone's got to feed it. Well, I don't think you can come back from that. Once they've got a taste for human flesh, I think that's it. Dude. You no, that dude, that's down. not true, dude. That's not true. Yeah, put that cat down, dude. He's no, next, no, next no, thing no. they're hunting babies, dude. That's not I true at all. I don't think that cat can function in society anymore. Not true. It's like when you have somebody who not true. I don't know. I'd I'd want it to be you. Cows. By the way, huh? I'd want it to be you. What that gets eaten by my cat? No, that finds me. With um, that finds me, half eaten yeah, by your cat, no yeah, half dog. eaten by my cat, dude. That's and then, like, your you're genitals. the one that discovers my body Very after cool. like a week. Very cool, bloated and gassy yeah, and yeah, dude. And, oh. I think I think it'd be nice if it was you. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I don't even I don't even have to imagine that visualization because I've seen that. Yeah, I, you know what? House. I I I kind of forgot about that yeah, as I was I've saying seen that. What a body looks like in that state. Thank you. Very that much. sucks. Uh, it does suck. Uh, but yeah, hey, you know what? Hey, but you didn't. I'll, but it wasn't me, man. Movie. Come on. Like, no, you're right. Totally. You'd different, have a different no, like. Totally different, man. Yeah. yeah like I, I wouldn't look at the bloated body of my best friend the same way I look at the bloated body of a drug addict who overdosed. Right. Yeah. Totally different people. I think you different would husks. I think you would cradle me until my my flesh like broke around your hand and it just it gets like real gross, you know? Yeah. Uh I would probably would you... like I think I would, would want to like make like snow angels in your goo. Okay. Does that make sense? I'll yeah. wait until you like just turn to goo and then I'll make like a like a, a like a mud angel or a snow angel. Yeah, just... dude. Yeah, dude. I would want you I'll to like to like like kiss me on the forehead and then, but like the skin fucking kind of tears. Like, just like it sticks to my lips because it's like fish skin, <laughs> yeah. and then it just rips off like this chunk of forehead right. flesh, and underneath is like this black red bone. Mm. Yeah, the sinuses are all like fucking starting to sink in. And, yeah, yeah. My forehead is my best cool. feature, man. So truly, yeah, yeah, I mean, truly. Take the that most prominent feature. Yeah, dude. And then you can just you know that you know it might take a it might take a bit, but you you can roll around in the goo for me. I think that would be nice. That'd be a you know nice what? way to go. Maybe I just take like because it'll be really easy to pull off by this point if I do it at the right time. I'll just take the whole skin of all your head. Uh huh. Because there's no hair. I'll just take the whole. I'll just peel it off. Right. The, the muscle. Right. Yeah, you'll scalp me. Off. Kind of, yeah, but like the whole head, oh, just like like a like a human mask, like my face all, as well, like just yeah, yeah, the whole face, ears, neck, okay. back of the head, everything, dude. I'll make you into like a a, a mask, oh, like a helmet, maybe. dude. Maybe like yeah, a dude, a Jonah helmet, dude. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, It'd be eerily like eerily realistic. Join like a like a um like a backyard fighting. Like like rink and like you'll a, be the like a luchador like an underground yeah. luchador competition. Yeah, dude, and like your signature moves is just a headbutt, fellas, wearing yeah, my face. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. 
dude. That's... <laughs> Double Brown. <laughs> Dude. You imagine by our Browns combined. Oh, Nobody could stand man. a chance. We'd be dude. unstoppable. Unstoppable. Just we'd one be... of us has to sacrifice our brow for the Dude, we'd be the champion of, of Carlos's back fight, back lot cock fight pit. Fuck yeah, fuck yeah, dude. Jello, always Jello pits. <laughs> no yeah. mud, only Jello. That's funny. That is funny. All right, dude. Well, we'll get off of here now. I love yep. you a lot. I love you. I will talk to you very soon. Goodbye. Goodbye.